Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I downloaded in June. <laughs> So, I know that this video is very, very, very late. We are already in August. <laughs> but uh, I was honestly really dreading filming this video because I believe I have 50 or more to talk about today, which is the biggest ebook haul that I've ever had. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might literally be an hour long. I have no idea. Excuse Willow constant barking. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get to talking about the ebooks that I downloaded in June. First, we have His Private Fix by Sophia Gray, the first book in the Love at the Beach series. This is still currently free to download. I'm 34, almost divorced, and lusting after a guy 10 years younger than me. I wanted to get away from my old life, but falling for Jonah hardly seems appropriate. He's the sexiest man I've ever met, though, and I'm not the only one who can't keep my hands to myself. A little fun never hurt anyone. We'll go our separate ways at the end of the weekend when the holiday is over. Wanting more from the private man with secrets he won't share is madness. Even knowing that, I can't stop wanting him. Will he break my heart? Probably. Will it be worth it? I wish I knew. Next we have Made to the Mafia by Juanita Prax. This is still currently free to download. I'll do anything, cooking, cleaning, even making coffee. I'm good at making coffee. Upon uttering the word coffee, Jenny Stone, the smart, resilient, and sharp-tongued girl somehow finds herself paying off her father's debt by working as a maid to the mafia boss, Giovanni Dante, the obsessive compulsive coffee drinker with movie star good looks. Between serving the man his brew at ungodly hours and doing his dirty work, she also has to attend college, ace her exams, and find a way to contact her father and sister who have abandoned her. But within the intricate web Giovanni binds around her, when it comes time for her to leave, she isn't sure if she can make it out alive, especially when somewhere along the way she realizes her heart is totally captivated. Next we have Hopeless by Melissa Hag, the first book of the Judgments of Six series. And this is not currently free anymore, but you could purchase it for 99 cents. Freedom is so close, Gabby can taste it. After years of meeting seagull werewolves and, and successfully dodging the mating bullet, she's on her way to her last introduction to say no thanks one final time. As a human, she has no plans to attach herself to a werewolf, but she didn't count on meeting Clay. The single look, Gabby knows Clay is the one, and unfortunately, he knows it too. The silent, ruggedly handsome werewolf is determined to win his mate by any means necessary. Gabby does what any sane girl would do and run. Months. Not only does Clay follow, but something truly dangerous does as well. Now hunted for secrets she spent her whole life protecting, Gabby must turn to the one man she didn't want for the help she needs. Time is running out to discover who or what wants her, and Gabby just started realizing there's more at stake than the heart and freedom of one human girl. Next we have Broken Magic by India Kells. This is not currently free anymore, but you can purchase it for $2.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. A Cursed Witch, a Vengeful Werewolf, a Twisted Love Spell. In this world where legendary creatures roam and magic is ruled by an unyielding high council, Valeria Lancaster knows from her strict upbringing as a witch the value of order, rank, and discipline. So when her powers wreak havoc around her, killing people, even her own mother, she has no choice but to flee. Unfortunately, the best hideout can't protect her from Asher Stonelake, a sanctuary master and a werewolf with a dire taste of vengeance. The Lancasters have killed his entire family, and he won't rest until the witch who murdered his sister suffers the worst kind of death. When he catches the scent of his enemy and Valeria becomes his captive, Asher can't wait to break her until he notices that something or someone may already have. Vengeance must wait as trouble knocks on the door, and his enticing prisoner may in reality be more friend than foe, maybe even an ally. Next we have Tears of Ink by Anna Bloom. This isn't free anymore, but you could either purchase it for $2.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Faith Hitchin wears the shadows of the past on her skin for all to see. To a stranger's eyes, she is a girl with sass and tattoos, a lover of art. But beneath the mystery of swirls and ink, she's a woman alone and in pain. When opportunity knocks in the form of an invitation to an art project that could change the direction of her life, she's afraid to move forward. But like her namesake, she pushes past all inhibitions and takes a leap of faith. The last thing she imagines is a summer of self-discovery at the hands of a sexy baroness's son. Elijah Fairclaw is arrogant yet charming, complicated but forthcoming. With his blue eyes, expensive suits, and evasive attitude, it seems he's used to getting what he wants, and he wants nothing more than to discover the woman beneath the tattoos in every way possible. Will Elijah's persistence make her break her only rule, or will there be tears of ink? 
Next I have a boxed set Vampires and Vixens Love Bites books one and two by Lauren Smith. This isn't free anymore, but you could either purchase the bundle for $6.99 or download the bundle off of Kindle Unlimited. Zoe Blake is about as far down on her luck as she can get. A car crash took her parents, leaving her destitute and on the street. When she's attacked by another homeless person, her life blood drains away as her fading vision is filled with the face of a handsome stranger. Ian Kennedy, a century old Irish vampire, can never resist rescuing a stray. As a few drops of his blood heals Zoe's wounds, he realizes she's a sweet, tempting, flesh and blood woman. But there's one problem. Connor, who made Ian promise decades ago, no more mortal lovers. After another vampire murdered his soulmate, Connor O'Shea swore never to let a mortal woman pay the price for loving him until he feels Zoe's skin and tastes her lips. She makes him want to break that vow. Zoe finds herself caught in their web of seduction, but as Christmas draws near and her grief deepens, happiness seems far out of reach. And Ian and Connor join forces to prove their love is sacred, special, and forever. Next we have The Sassy Submissive by Golden Angel. This is still currently free to download. After years of reading but never doing it, Angel is finally ready to explore her fantasies in real life. The only problem? She'll have to learn the ropes at Chained, a local BDSM club all alone. Adopting a false Dom persona, she dips her toes into the water of BDSM and sets her sights on eventually taking the plunge at yet another club stronghold as a submissive. But there's an unexpected complication. On the very first night of her experiment, she finds herself irresistibly attracted to one of the true doms. Master Adam's looking for a submissive, not another dominant. When his path crosses with an unfamiliar face at Chained, he's immediately intrigued, but ultimately disappointed when she introduces herself as a mistress. It's a perfectly ordinary encounter, but days later, Adam still can't get the beguiling woman out of his head. When the two reconnect at Stronghold without any pretense, their first scene together is nothing less than explosive. Next, I downloaded Damage Like Us by Krista and Becca Ritchie. You could either purchase this book for $3.99 or it is actually on Audible. Excuse if you can hear dog chewing sounds behind me. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do because like I don't want to take his bone from him. But it's probably really annoying for y'all. I'll try to be like loud and talk over him chewing on a bone. Max of Hale is a force of nature, a ship unwilling to be steered. Headstrong, resilient, and wholly responsible, the 22-year-old alpha billionaire can handle his unconventional life. By noon, lunch can turn into a mob of screaming fans. By two, his face is all over the internet. Born into one of the most famous families in the country, his celebrity status began at birth. He has certified American royalty. When he's assigned a new 24-7 bodyguard, he comes face to face with the worst case scenario, being attached to the tattooed MMA trained Yale graduate who's known for going rogue in the security team and who fills one third of Maxoff's sexual fantasies. 27 year old Pharaoh Keen has one job protect Maxoff Hale. Flirting, dating, falls far far out of the boundary of his bodyguard duties and into termination territory. But when feelings surface, protecting the sexiest sin, stubborn celebrity becomes increasingly complicated. Together, boundaries blur and being exposed can mean catastrophic consequences for the both. Next, we have Lore of Obsession by Lisa Kessler, the first book in the Muse Chronicles. You could either purchase this for 99 cents, download it off of Kindle Unlimited, or it is on Audible Escape. Melanie Jacoby is the human vessel for the Muse of Tragic Poetry, but she isn't prepared for the tragedy of finding her roommate dead at the bottom of the stairs. Nate Malone is the detective assigned to the case. As the evidence points to an accidental fall, the visions begin. He sees a killer in a gold Kronos mask. Mel is their next target, but Nate's determination to protect her is almost as strong as his desire for her, and tragedy isn't part of his plan. Next, we have Sinful Surrender by Erica Wilde. This is still currently free to download. A debt repaid in the form of her surrender. Rich and powerful Maddox Wilder has built his empire with one thought in mind, exacting revenge against the man who killed his parents. But he never planned on his enemy's daughter, Arabella Cole, to offer herself in exchange for her father's debt. And it's to captivating, Maddox can't resist her allure or the lust she stirs within him. When Arabella sacrifices her life to save her father's, she does so with the intention of hating the man who now owns her. But beneath Maddox's gruff, boorish exterior, she discovers a compelling man, one who makes her burn with need and awakens deep forbidden desires she can't deny. Soon she's surrendering more than just her body to Maddox. What starts as an act of revenge becomes something far more consuming. Can this beauty tame the beast? Or will revenge cost them both everything that matters most? The next book I downloaded is The Darkness and Dreams by Sue 
Wilder. You can either purchase this for 99 cents or it is on Kindle Unlimited. An Immortal Warrior, A Woman with Past Life. Plagued with night terrors and an empty yearning for a long lost lover, Lexi thinks the man she dreams about is a figment of her imagination until she discovers her past lives and learns he's an immortal warrior, an enforcer, and a dangerous lover who remembers every passion every argument, every sin, and hasn't forgotten her. Christian's heart is turned to stone, but with the return of an old enemy, he must protect the human girl he loves, but no longer trusts. With ancient passions flaring, Lexi uncovers a dark truth, and as their foe closes in for the kill, one sacrifice for love can doom them both. Will they fall for the forces that pursue them before they can truly be together? Next, I downloaded Touching Divinity by Benjamin Madrano. This is still currently free to download. Centuries ago, the goddess of light was defeated by Kalai and the other demon lords who split the world between themselves to rule. Cyan grew up in the dominion of shadow and from an early age she dreamed of becoming Kalai's consort. Fortune favored her and she managed to become one of the handful of students and potential suitors of the queen who resided in the palace of shadow. When she's given the opportunity to impress Kalai and have some time alone with her, Cyan jumps at the opportunity. Little does she know that Kalai has her own motives and secrets which are entwined with Cyan's past as well. Next I downloaded Black Edge by Charlotte bird. This is still currently free to download. I don't belong here. I'm in way over my head, but I have debts to pay. They call my name. The spotlight is on. The auction starts. Mr. Black is the highest bidder. He's dark, rich, and powerful. He likes to play games. The only rule is there are no rules. But it's just one night. What's the worst? that could happen. Next, I downloaded Mastered by Her Mates by Grace Goodwin. This is book number six in the Interstellar Brides program. This is still currently free to download. Amanda Bryant has been a spy for five long years, but when aliens suddenly appear, claiming a deadly enemy threatens Earth's very survival, Amanda is asked by her supervisors to accept the most dangerous mission of her life, volunteer to be an alien's bride, to share a strange warrior's bed, and then betray him. Accepting the assignment, Amanda is processed as the first interstellar bride and transported halfway across the galaxy to her new mate's battleship, where she awakens to discover she has been matched with not just one prion warrior, but two. Shocked by her craving for the touch of two dominant alpha males, Amanda accepts to hide her body's immediate reaction to Commander Greg and his second wrath. Seduced and cherished by two alpha male warriors who hide nothing from her, Amanda quickly comes to recognize that the threat to Earth is very real. When she witnesses a battle with the enemy and the resulting death of a highly respected warrior, she knows that she must tell her mates the truth and hope that they can forgive her for her duplicity before it's too late. Next, I downloaded Blue Bayou by Jiffy Kate. This is the first book in the French Quarter collection. This isn't free anymore, but you could download it off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $3.99. The road to self-discovery leads Maverick Kensington deep in the heart of New Orleans. The colorful characters, beautiful scenery, and a hot mess of a woman he finds along the way offer him the perfect place to reinvent himself. The French Quarter and Blue Bayou are exactly the change of pace he's looking for, helping him escape the soul-sucking work he does for his father's company. Karis Matthews as young and inexperienced. Having her family's hotel dropped in her lap after her mother's untimely death, she's struggling to keep her head above water and keep the hotel doors open. She doesn't have time for relationships, but Maverick Kensington is worth an exception. Besides, his stay is temporary and a fling can never hurt anyone right? His passion and business know-how is exactly what she needs. Her carefree spirit is what he wants. Their whirlwind romance is one for the books until truths are untold and assumptions are made. Everything comes to a screeching halt just when they were getting to the good part, but there's always been a saying around the hotel. Eventually, everyone comes back to the blue bayou. Will Maverick be the exception? Next, I downloaded This Crazy Love by J.H. Troy, uh, the first book in the Swoon series. This is still currently free to download. Shay, Jackson Stone is hot, like burned down buildings kind of hot. He's also my brother's best friend and the memory of one kiss with him years ago still might get to me, maybe, but I'm not looking for a second chance. When I return to the small town of Stolen Hearts Valley, my life is a hot mess. I'm a few bucks shy of broke with nowhere else to go. My heart's battered and bruised, and when it comes to romance, the door is nailed shut. But Jackson's the kind of man women ruin panties over. Oh, and he's my roommate. Talk about too close for comfort. When I'm at my most vulnerable, he pulls the whole night charming armor thing. What can I say? He's near impossible to resist. Jackson. Shay Martin is my best friend's little sister, and she's so hot she nearly sets me on fire. She's a walking complication, and I don't do complications. But I can't seem to stay away from her. It doesn't help that her bedroom is across the hall from mine. Every look, every kiss, every touch nearly brings me to my knees. I can't keep my balance, much less think. Before I know it, I'll do anything. 
for her. Next, I downloaded Rush by Daphne Loveling, the first book in the Stone Kings Motorcycle Club series. You could either purchase this for $3.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Seton, I can't stop lusting after a killer. Grayson Stone is the president of Stone Kings MC, and he's seriously bad news. He's big and bad, dripping with menace and covered in tattoos. He has the kind of dominant swagger that should make me want to run away. Instead, it makes me fantasize about him. Even though men like him caused the violence that ended my father's life, one rough, demanding night with Grayson and I don't know how to walk away, even when my life depends on it. Grayson, as the president of the Stone Kings, I have a few rules, ride or die, death before dishonor. And the club always, always comes before any woman. Easy, simple, at least that is until I see her. Big green eyes, killer curves, and that mouth. The second I saw her, I knew I wanted to make her mine, even though I know that once she finds out who I am, she'll hate me forever. Next, I downloaded another box set. We have Billionaire's Secrets box set, books one through three by Lexi Timms. I'll just read the summary for book one because I'm not reading one for book all three books. Oh, also this is still currently free to download. Billionaire CEO Simon Diesel owns one of the largest companies in the US. Little is known about him. He keeps his personal life out of the media despite their efforts to try to find out who the single handsome billionaire is. He graduated out of Stanford with top honors and while they're invested in an online company that turned into a fortune, no one knows he was just a regular kid growing up and got into Stanford on a scholarship. He's determined to prove himself that he can do it. He never expected that the girl he lost his virginity to would show up in his office looking for a job. He also never anticipated that she wouldn't remember him. Now he has to hire her just to prove that he's the same kid from high school, just a whole lot richer. Next, I downloaded Filthy Mistake by Annie J. Rose, book three in the Forbidden Desire series. You can either purchase this for $2.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. This fake marriage is supposed to solve some real problems. It'll clean his bad boy image, leave me filthy rich, get him some publicity. Jax is a hot lead singer, a notorious playboy who has women throwing themselves at him. Every girl desires to climb into his bed. I've done that already. Now I want more, more than his lust and his money. I want his heart because he has mine. I think I'm being too greedy. Will this playboy want to play exclusively? Next, I downloaded Dating My Best Friend, A Second Chance Romance by Annie J. Rose. I downloaded this off of Kendall Unlimited. It's been over a decade since tragedy ripped us apart. We were just teens, but I never got to tell her I loved her. Now I'm back in town and Chloe doesn't want to see me. Seconds after I walk into her work, I feel the same hot rush of longing I did all those years ago. I still want her, but there are secrets in the way. I'm not the boy I was. I'm a broken man with demons that chase me back from the Marines. She's still hurt that I broke my promise. There's no room in her life for me now, but this attraction won't be ignored. Her lush mouth, her touch, they bring light to my dark corners, but my secrets, my past, threaten to scare her off. I don't know if she can handle what I've become. Next, I downloaded Cry Wolf, A Tale of Beauty and the Beast by Jackie Stevens. You can either purchase this for $2.99 or download it off of Kendall Unlimited. Isabel Berger grew up hearing stories of a legendary beast who killed over 100 people. When a new wolf is spotted near the forest, the men of her village are convinced that another monster is on the rise. Isabel is less certain until her father is killed in the hunt. Alone and hungry for revenge, Isabel strikes out of her town to face the dreaded beast, but this darker twist of a timeless fail, things may not be what they seem. Next, I downloaded Claimed by Nikolai by Denna Holm, the first book in the Rated Warrior series. You can either purchase this for $3.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. When Abby Harris takes her faithful German shepherd out for a hike in Oregon's beautiful mountains, getting abducted by aliens isn't even a blip on her radar. Her trusty can of bear spray and the pocket knife isn't much help against the seven foot monsters who swoop it out of nowhere and transport her to a ship in space. Nikolai is crown prince for the house of a Nekbet on the planet Raiden. Unable to bear healthy children with females from their own species, Raiden warriors must hunt for a bride outside of their own world. Nikolai has his heart set on a human even though their planet is protected by an ancient species called Laia Zilan. When he sees the tall blonde haired beauty out in the mountains with only a dog by her side, he knows he must have her. With Abby safely on his ship, Nikolai injects her with his Sharprata, his essence. His Shaprata will change her on a cellular level, making them compatible for procreation. But he must still work hard to win her heart. If she rejects their union, it could easily mean his death. Next, I have Pure by Catherine Mezik, the first book in the Pure series, and this is still currently free to download. 16-year-old Katie Wycliffe lives quietly in the small town of 
Elspeth's Grove, unaware of the troubled past that forced her grandmother to flee Russia with her when Katie was only a child. When people in town begin to disappear and Katie's own home is attacked by a terrifying creature, Katie and her grandmother must return to Russia to find answers. Pursuing them is the handsome William, who just might be a vampire. Katie discovers that William is indeed partially a vampire, but he is also one of the Sith, an ancient clan whose members are gifted with great power, a clan to which Katie's deceased mother also belonged. Soon Katie discovers that her mother's seemingly natural death was actually murder, and she is forced to confront the question she wants to face the least. Is William her otherworldly protector or is he the dark creature who killed her mother 11 years ago? Next I have Bound by Lust by Erica Storm. This isn't free anymore but you could download it for $2.99. Can a one night stand lead to anything especially since the two people who came together like the two lightning bolts accept that what they had together in a BDSM club is just a casual hookup and nothing more? John Steele didn't have time to date, especially since he'd become a partner in a large firm. He just wanted a casual hookup, something different, for the night at his favorite BDSM club and forgetting the woman in the morning and starting all over again with someone new whenever he needed to be satisfied. Taisha Brown has to concentrate on graduating from college and her second job, which took her away most of the time. She didn't need any distractions until she walked into a club and locked eyes with John Steele, a tall, handsome, 30-something heartthrob who looked like he never heard the word no. Well, be able to forget each other after a night of play? Will the dominant become the submissive and the submissive become the dominant? Next, I downloaded two books in the Half Moon series. The first one is called Half Moon Holler by Taryn Bradley. You can either purchase this for $3.99 or get it off of Kenza Unlimited. One U-turn. That's all it takes to set the world spinning for Nate. Nathan J. Bentley is a 100% all-American backwoods southern boy with tattoos, piercings, and muscles. Life in the small town of Half Moon is all Nathan wants that and his holler. A hollow in the woods next to Half Moon Pond. It's not just home for Nathan, it's a refuge, a place to breathe easy and find peace in a hectic world. One U-turn, that's all it takes for Cassie to find her future. Cassandra Jane Ramirez's mad dash from her posh life leads her to the door of Half Moon Motorcycle and Auto Repair and right into Nathan's path. Half Moon may not have been her home by choice, but Kathy quickly finds her heart healing within its limits. And when the past comes knocking, Half Moon has her back and Nathan has her heart. One U-turn, that's all Nathan wants, to go back in time and change one innocent decision that may cost him his heart, his soul. I also got the next book for free, which is Half Moon Rebel. It's not free anymore, but you could get it off of Kendall Unlimited. To Bubba Dupree, family and friends were one and the same, and Half Moon was more than home. It was a way of life. A dutiful son put his dreams on hold to support his family, until one day when love came unexpectedly and left the same way. Rebel May, a damsel held captive in a fortress built by her own heart. There was a time when Rebel could only dream of Half Moon, a hometown she never stepped foot in. Now it was calling for her. There was a name to clear, a truth to unveil, but she hadn't counted on her heart to break. Bubba, I was just doing my job. It was an ordinary toe on an ordinary day until the universe decided to upend my life. Rebel May wasn't on my radar. She's not of my world and I'm certainly not of hers. I told myself she's too young for me. She's not my type, she's beautiful. Rebel's unannounced departure made it clear where her boundaries lie, but soon I realized my feelings for her No, no boundaries. Next, I downloaded The Problem with Pugs by AJ Henley. This is $3.99 to purchase or you could download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Amelia's boyfriend Tim broke up with her three months, 13 days, and 11 hours ago, but at least he left her their baby. Doug the pug. Doug eats Amelia's underwear, mutilates furniture, and always poops in the middle of the sidewalk, but he only has eyes for her. When Amelia reluctantly wades back into the dating pool, meets a new guy, and has to pay his medical bill after Doug launches a sneak attack on him, she realizes she has a problem. She's determined to do everything she can to help her dog adjust to life without Tim, even recruiting handsome Travis, Doug's new veterinarian, who's willing to assist her at risk of life and limb. But it won't be easy. Doug's the only man in Amelia's life now and he isn't about to share. Next, I downloaded Marauder Fenrir by Aya Morningstar, the second book in the Meeting Wars series. This is not free anymore, but you can purchase it for $2.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. He came to kill, but stayed to claim me. When the captain throws me in the brig, it feels like things can't get any worse, but they can. A deadly alien assassin slaughters everyone on our ship, but spares me. If I want to survive, I'll have to accept this brutal alien's protection. He's frustrating, insufferable, and never admits when he's wrong. And the worst part, he says he wants to kill all humans, but he protects me, 
fiercely and without question. His body is a deadly weapon, and he's vicious and unrelenting. So why has he spared me? And why does he keep looking at me with those jade green eyes and that smug grin? Falling for this cocky alien killer may just be the one thing that saves me, but who can save me from him? Next, I downloaded Draken Heart, book three in the Dragons in Exile series by Lily Xander and Elise Savino. You can either download this on Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $3.99. There might be one way out of this present planet. The only problem? I don't want to go. Back on Earth is a man who wanted to kill me. Back on Earth, I slept with a knife under my pillow to be safe. There's no coffee on the present planet. No pizza, no chocolate. I should be thrilled that there might be a way back home, except I don't want to return. Here, I feel safe because Mike isn't here and because Thrax and Zorox are. But I've sworn off of guys. No matter how hot they are, no matter how much I want to catch them, no matter how much I want to run my hands all over their hard bodies. There are a hundred reasons why the three of us shouldn't be together. There's still no sign of my friends. The rescue attempt is spiraling into a disaster. And most importantly, I'm fairly sure that the Drakens I'm falling in love with aren't my mates. Next, I downloaded the last one by Tadra Candle. This is still currently free to download. Megan, when I signed up to spend my final summer of college teaching art to underserviced kids, I wanted a chance to reinvent myself, to go somewhere new and different. I never thought I'd end up in a small town in Georgia, living on a farm with a man who clearly wishes I were anywhere but there. But here I am, and even if Sam Reynolds doesn't like it, I can't help my attraction to him. Maybe I don't want to help it. His deep brown eyes and slow southern boy drawl just do something to me. Something real and deep and maybe a little bit scary. Sam, I don't need excitement and I sure don't want romance. Fun is out of the question for a guy like me. I've had to be steady responsible one since my parents died and serious is my way of life. When the fiery redhead fine arts student moves into my farmhouse. I won't deny that I'm tempted by her, but giving into temptation could mean radical change, maybe even more than I can handle. Megan makes me want to believe in crazy things like forever and happy endings. She's the last thing I expected. I'm the last one she needs, and this is just a summer fling isn't it? Next, I downloaded Captivity by Brenda Trim and Tammy Julka. This is $2.99 to purchase, or you could download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Lawson Scott has been a prisoner for three years. He's been subjected to torture, degradation, and numerous tests by humans wanting shifter blood. He's convinced he will spend the remainder of his life chained to a wall until sexy scientist Liv Kimbrough is assigned to his case. She's the first human to show an ounce of compassion and their attraction is combustible despite his disdain for her species. An escape plan unfolds and Lawson sees how far Liv will go to set him free. Passion erupts and raw primal need is unleashed as they succumb to their desire for one another. Will Lawson reach his safe haven and find a life mate when Liv captures his heart? or will their differences destroy them and everyone he loves. Next, I downloaded Someone to Love Me by Tori Richards. This is still currently free to download. The Alaskan wilderness is the backdrop for this story about two strangers who find themselves stranded in a cabin for the winter. Both are tortured souls struggling to go on in life after a devastating loss only to recover survival that can be found in each other's arms. Next, I downloaded Dirty Dom by Sarah Bailey. This is the first book in the Dirty series, and this is still currently free to download. Two strangers, one night, one lifelong fantasy. Soliciting a stranger online to fulfill my ultimate fantasy is probably crazy as hell. If you asked me what I was thinking, I wouldn't be able to tell you. All I knew was that I needed this before I could move on with my life. Enter Dominic, the most sinfully attractive man I've ever laid my eyes on, and that's just his profile picture. His promise to fulfill my wildest dreams and his sultry, authoritative voice set my world on fire. How could a girl resist? When sweet blondie and dirty Dom finally meet in person, sparks fly, and one night leaves me wanting so much more. The question is, can my filthy fantasy become a full-time reality, or will I just spend the rest of my life craving the one man I never knew I needed until now? Next, I downloaded Where I Found You by Brooke O'Brien. This is still currently free to download. Protecting my heart was the only way. After the childhood I survived, I built a wall and locked it away. I would never let anyone in, never let anyone close enough to take more than what I was willing to give. Starting over in a town is hard, but running from my past left me no choice. I was desperate to say goodbye to the memories that held me captive. The pain I experienced is more than anyone should have to bear. Then I met him. He takes my breath away. I can't ignore the way he makes me feel. I know he has the power to destroy me, and that's what scares me the most. Next, I downloaded Every Moment With You, a second chance romance by J.E. Parker. You either purchase this for $2.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. I've loved Hendrix Cole all my life. I was seven when I met him, 13 when I first kissed him, 16 when I gave him my heart, and 18 when he gave me his ring. Hendrix swore to love me forever. Instead, he broke my heart, scarred my soul, destroyed my entire world. Six years later, he wants a second chance. The problem is, 
I don't trust him. Not to mention, I have a secret, one which will destroy us both. Only two questions remain. Is redemption beyond our grasp? Or will true love prevail? Next, I downloaded If We Were Young by Anna Bloom. This is a Friends to Lovers romance. You either purchase this for $3.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Matthew was my biggest regret. For years, he was my best friend, but I never told him how I really felt, that I loved him. When all the words should have been said, I said nothing at all. For 15 years, I kept him in my dreams, letting my life coast along and pass me by until he came back. But Matthew wasn't the man I remembered. Cold and aloof, his hatred of me burned little holes into my heart. He had just 15 days to reconnect, probably too short a time to bridge the gap of the past. Could we get back to the way you, we used to be when we were young? Next, I have Hidden Gem by Sky Warren. This is still currently free to download. Of all the girls in Paris, he picked me. I was studying the Mona Lisa and he was studying me, not my sister, me. He turned me upside down and I hardly recognized myself through his eyes. Beautiful, interesting but it was all a lie. It was just a family vacation until he came along. I gave him kisses freely, but what he took from me was priceless. Next, I downloaded Marked by the Demigod by Alyssa Winters. You can either purchase this for 99 cents or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Ames isn't the kind of girl that wakes up married to handsome strangers, but this man is saying they are. Okay, well, she can work through that until Ames finds out that he's also on the run. In addition to that, her handsome new man is a demigod on the run from murderous brothers who view him as the last thing in their way before ruling the world, and Ames begins to understand her amazing new life is filled with danger. Thrust into a world full of gods, ghosts, dryads, and succubi, Ames must learn how to navigate all the craziness surrounding her, and she must also keep her steamy relationship with her new husband a secret to keep them both alive. But when his brothers start to kill people in Ames' community, slowly drawing closer and closer to everyone Ames holds dear, she is faced with the ultimate choice. Does she leave her new husband, leaving everyone she loves to face their own fates, or she team up with him to take the murderers down? Next, I downloaded Close Liaisons by Anna Zaris, the first book in the Krenar Chronicles, and this is still currently free to download, or you could also get it off of Audible Escape. For college student Mia Stalis, the invaders, the beautiful, mysterious Krenar, are only stories on the news. Rumors <gasps> about them are abound, about their impossible strength and speed, their intentions towards earth, their vampiric tendencies. None of it concerns her though, until she catches Coram's eye. Powerful and terrifyingly seductive, the, the Krenar leader will stop at nothing to possess her. Helplessly drawn to her magnetic captor, Mia is plunged into the dangerous, secretive world of the Kays and forced to choose between the truth and lies. Her people and her lover, her freedom, and her heart. Next, I downloaded Captive Desire by Robin Lovett. You can purchase this for 99 cents. Ganin, a says general, hasn't had a woman since his first mate died a century ago. And since his kind can live for a thousand years, he's still bound by traditional mourning. If he breaks mourning, he could lose his position as says military, his friends and family everything. That means no falling in love, no lust for another century. Then he is ordered to guard Azura, a human woman and military special operative, on a planet whose atmosphere causes a sexual arousal so fierce it drives people insane if it isn't satisfied. Even though he tries to keep Azura at arm's length, he's hooked. Forbidden desire called to life by a human, the same species who killed his first mate. Azura needs his body if she's going to live, but if he gives into his passion, it could destroy him. Next, I downloaded another by Fiona Cole. You could either purchase this for $3.99 or get it off of Kenta Unlimited. The first time I saw him, he entranced me and offered to help me forget my broken engagement. The second time was on a blind date with no last names and undeniable passion. The third time, I was eight months pregnant with his baby he knew nothing about. This time, he's not letting me walk away so easily. Next, I downloaded Nikolai Mind to Protect by Shandy Boys. You could purchase this for $3.99. When Justine walked into my life, I swore allegiance and oath to protect her with everything I have. I slayed the devil and stole his crown. I now sit on his throne with my queen at my side. But what happens when everything I ever wanted is pulled out from beneath me? I've risen from the ashes more than once, but this resurrection is by far the most dangerous. It threatens to take everything I ever worked for, everything I deserved. But more than anything, it wants to destroy her, my Aaron. I'll never let that happen. I killed the man who raised me to save her, and this fool is about to suffer the same fate. I'll protect what's mine, even if it kills me. You can hide from the devil, but he will always find you, because dead man don't tattle any tales. Next, I downloaded Long Live the King Anthology by a bunch of romance authors. I don't think I need to read a summary for this. There's just so many authors on here. This is free, by the way. Guy Warren, Vivian Wood, Roxy Knorr, Annika Martin, Alta Hensley, Frankie Love, Iris Moreland, Liana May, Natalie Warai, Teresa Lay, Betty Schraefler, Brianna Hale, Emily Wilde, Fawn Bailey, and Katie Robert. 
are all in this anthology. Next, I downloaded The Baron and the Bathe by Larissa De Silva. This is a billionaire medical romance, the first book in the Heartline series, and you can either purchase this for $2.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Dr. Ari West's life plan, take one. One, marry her college sweetheart. Two, become a pediatrician. Three, have a gaggle of gorgeous children of her own. Dr. Ari West's life plan, take two. One, watch her dirtbag husband walk out on her. Two, wonder what the hell to do with an empty house. Three, become a pediatrician anyway and go to hell with men. Four, until the strangest man in the world walks into her life with a delightful daughter in tow. Sometimes things don't go according to plan. And falling in love with a man whose parents actually named him Oscar Wilde definitely isn't according to plan. But Oscar, tech billionaire and recently single father, needs help. After his young wife's untimely death, he's on his own with a toddler whose fragile health leaves him constantly overwhelmed, worried, and in desperate need of a miracle. He just never thought his miracle, renowned pediatrician Dr. West, would be so damn beautiful. Though Oscar, too, has a plan, and that plan never accounted for falling in love again. They could be perfect for each other, or they could tear each other apart as their present attraction fights with the ghosts of their past. But Ari is too determined to give up, and one way or another, she'll have both the babe and the tech baron she's starting to love. Next, I downloaded Stolen by the Dragon by Riley Storm, the first book in the Storm Dragon series, and you could purchase this for $2.99. The only thing on Damien's mind is ensuring his race will live on. It's that single minded focus that drove the Storm Dragon through the magical portal, the last of a small band of dragons fling an ominous and powerful enemy. When he's confronted on the other side by a short, sassy, and deliciously curvy woman with powers he can't comprehend, every Everything changes. He should be focusing on the future of his people, but all he wants is to focus on her. His dragon is roaring wildly and he doesn't know how much longer he can resist its call. Anna Sturgis has trained all her adult life at Winter Spell Academy. She's ready to face any of the unusual paranormal threats, werewolves, vampires, fairies. She's prepared for them all. What she can't fight is the sizzling attraction she feels to one dragon shifter in particular. Her studies are beckoning, but the siren call of the muscular male is more luring than anything she's felt before. If she can't learn to resist his smile, then she's going to succumb to him completely. Next, I downloaded Winter Ball by Amy Lane. This isn't free anymore, but you could purchase it for $6.49. Through a miserable adolescence and a lonely adulthood, Skipper Keith has dreamed of nothing but family. The closest he gets to the rec league soccer team he coaches after work and his star player and best friend, Richie Shoggins. One brisk night in late October, a post-practice convo in Richie's car turns into a sexual encounter neither of them expected, nor want to forget. Soon Skip and Richie are living for the weekends and their winter league soccer games, and the games they enjoy off the field. Through broken noses, holiday decorating, and the killer flu, they learn more about each other than they ever dreamed possible. Every new discovery takes them further beyond the boundaries of the soccer field and into the infinite possibilities of the best relationship of Skipper's life. Skipper can't dream of a better family than Richie, but Richie's got a real family entanglements he can't shake off. Skipper needs to convince Richie to stay with him beyond the winter ball so that their relationship they started on the field might become their happy future in real life. Next, I downloaded Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. This is on Audible Escape. You could purchase it for 99 cents and you could download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Erica, I was told that dreams were our own heart's desires. My nightmares, however, became my obsession. His name was Michael Christ. My boyfriend's older brother is like that scary movie that you peek through your hands to watch. He is handsome, strong, and completely terrifying. The star of his college basketball team and now gone pro. He's more concerned with the dirt on his shoe than me, but I noticed him. I saw him, I heard him. The things he did, the deeds he hid for years, I bit my nails, unable to look away. Now I've graduated high school and moved to college, but I haven't stopped watching Michael. He's bad and the dirt I've seen isn't content to stay in my head anymore because he's finally noticed me. Michael, her name is Erica Fane, but everyone calls her Rika. My brother's girlfriend grew up hanging around my house and is always at our dinner table. She looks down when I enter the room and stills when I'm close. I can always feel the fear rolling off of her. And while I haven't had her body, I know that I have her mind and that's what I want anyway until my brother leaves the military and I find Rika alone at college in my city unprotected the opportunity is too good to be true as well as the timing because you see three years ago she put a few of my high school friends in prison and now they're out we've waited we've been patient and now every last one of her nightmares will come true I also downloaded the sequel which is hideaway by Penelope Douglas but I'm not gonna read the summary because it's the sequel to the first book. Next, I downloaded Riker by Jerry Glenn. This is still currently free to download and it is on Audible Escape. Riker Cole's friend is dying and his world is crumbling around him. When shy and nervous nurse Charlotte walks into the hospital room, he's captivated by her sharp wit and kind smile. Their conversations soothe him, her presence keeping him steady, but Riker knows she's not for him. 
Women like Charlotte don't belong in the world of Kings and Corruption MC. It's not safe. Except Charlotte's already in danger. Her past life has caught up with her and this time she may not survive. Next, I downloaded Trial of Thorns by Stacey Trombley, the first book in the Wicked Fae series. This book you could purchase for $3.99 or download it off of Kindle Unlimited. I am Kaylin of the Shadow Court, a countess banished to the human realm for killing a fae prince a decade ago. But when I get the chance to fight for a full pardon, I'll face every regret and lost hope to earn it, including Rev. For the first time in years, I am allowed the chance to enter the world of wild magic to compete, but the hardest part of the trials won't be the shadow wyverns or mind-twisting mazes. It'll be facing those I've betrayed, especially Rev, the sexy, luminescent court prince who hates me. Only one of us can win, and Rev will do everything in his power to make sure I don't make it out of the trials alive, because 10 years ago, I killed his brother, and Revlin never forgets. So there you have it. Those are the many, many, many ebooks that I downloaded in the month of June. I downloaded every single one of those for free or got them off of Kindle Unlimited. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye! <laughs>